edged. Boom, oh, third slip, takes the catch. The Australian captain is out. And how has Harmison deserved back. He had been walking a long way across his stumps. Well, that might not be. Correct, that's out. Five wickets for Stephen Harmison. Very well deserved, well bowled. Australia in big trouble. What's wrong with England? The defending champions. I don't even think England know what's wrong with England. I, I don't think anybody's seen that coming, that we'd win one game in the first six. Mm -hmm. um, they have a, a group of world-class players, um, unfortunately have found lack of confidence and lack of form all at the same time. I think there's eight players who played in the World Cup final. Yeah, it's more or less the same team. 2019. But I think in 2019, England's players were probably at the peak of their powers. Um, and in the last game, I think the average age of the side was, was 33 or 34, which tells you that obviously they're getting older and um, it, it just did things, it just hasn't happened for England. But um, I, I know you're not in the dressing room, but. Um, surely they would have spoken about you know defending that title and how they want to go about a plan towards it. Oh yeah, yeah. Or... That, I, the the plan would have been the, the plans would have been in place. They would have been well thought out. They would have been um, I think well drilled into the group. I think the experience of the group understand what it takes to play in big tournaments. Just for whatever reason that nobody really can put the finger on. It, uh, it just hasn't happened. The top order hasn't fired. Um, the bowlers haven't been consistent enough in the power play, and, uh, which is a surprise because of the bowlers that are on show, who are very reliable normally. Um, it's just one of them unfortunate times where everything seems to have gone wrong, wrong at the same time. They couldn't have arrested the slide. Is it because of a lack of enough wonders uh, in the interim before the World Cup? Unfortunately, it, the way England's schedule is across formats, so red ball, white ball, um, England play a lot of cricket. Mm. So you have to be careful on prioritising one format after an, over another. Um, We've seen in, in New Zealand, the, the last day of the New Zealand test, the first day of the Bangladesh ODI series start the next day. So that tells you that there is a crossover and there is something where, from a schedule point of view, it, it doesn't help England because of the amount of cricket England do play. They are needed to play to keep the, to the world going. During COVID, England were the team that kept cricket going. You know, the, the, they played the most. They played the most away from home. They played the mm -hmm. most at home. They kept they kept cricket um, being played for for whatever reason around the world, whether it be entertainment, for contractual uh, broadcasting yeah. rights. It's they played a lot of cricket, um, but it's no excuse. England just haven't performed. But uh, there is this whole sense or belief outside, and I'm only talking from the outside, mm. that you know, England and England players don't, ECB and England players don't want to play the 50 over format. No, I don't, I don't think it's the, I don't think they don't want to play the 50 over format. I just think up until, up until Ben Stokes took over the captaincy of the test team, mm. the Red Bull team, the test team was the one that suffered. So Joe Root, a large proportion of his captaincy, he 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 didn't have, always have the best side mm. that was available because mm. white ball cricket was prioritised, T20 cricket was prioritised, 50 over cricket was prioritised leading into 2019, leading into the T20 World Cup, and you know we were England were champions of both formats, but we weren't a very good Test side. And the fact that we didn't have all our best players on the field mm. at the same time, mm. since Ben Stokes and Brendan McCollum's took over then there's been more an emphasis on the Red Bull team getting prioritised because of the Ashes. Now, England should have won the Ashes, there's no question. Um, but because that was prioritised, then the White Bull team suffers. So mm. I, don't, I, think it's, I think it's virtually impossible for England's, all three of England's teams 
to be firing at the same time because of the amount of cricket that England play. Mm. You, we can make excuses that they didn't play enough um, fifty over cricket before mm -hmm. the tournament. They haven't but I, before I, the but I don't, I, I don't buy that. You know, I don't, I don't buy that as an excuse. England just haven't performed in this tournament. That's, yeah. and nobody, nobody really can put a finger on why. But, but if you look at other teams around the world, their top stars don't really play fifty over cricket, other than World Cups or the odd bilateral series. You know, Indian players yeah. don't play a lot of fifty over cricket. Yeah, we haven't played enough of mm. one day cricket last two three. And there's nothing, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with the Indian team. So, the, the England's have got a good enough team out here to 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 compete at the top level. But unfortunately, but with so much cricket happening and with so much cricket in England, uh, there are suitable uh, uh, you know replacements for. Uh, players who play all formats and just to give them a break. Yes, whatever. there is, there is. But there, why not in England? There is a lot of England have got a big pool of talent, and the hardest part of finding that pool of talent, the hardest part of finding that pool of talent is, you look at the the squad they've got here, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of very very good young talent in mm -hmm. in England, mm -hmm. but. Like I said before, the last game England had eight of the World Cup winners in 2019 in the side, so it's very difficult to drop them for the big game for the for the big World Cup when they are when they are as they are still your better players. Hmm. Unfortunately, they just haven't performed. But having said that, the art of I've come to bowling now. The art of bowling in Indian conditions on Indian wickets um, only experience can help you. I guess. Yeah, but you, you look at Chris Wokes. Chris Wokes has played, played a bit of IPL cricket. Mark Woods played IPL cricket. Adil Rashid, Moen Ali. You know, they've, they've played IPL cricket. Mm. So they've, and they've played a lot of cricket in India. Mm. Um, England were here not long ago in a mm. test series. Mm. Um, so yeah, they, they have the experience on these, on these surfaces. Mm. Um, just for whatever reason, they haven't been that been consistent enough to um, to put pressure in the in the power player, and subsequently haven't you know won the games that they would like to win. But I think the batting's been more of a concern than the bowling. So, uh, what do you think is it? Is it that uh, they are at loss to figure out what's gone wrong and to correct it, or is it just uh, these things happen? I think it's the a little bit of these things happen. I think it's quite a bit. I, 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 it's not for the one trying. I think Josh Butler looks in his post-match interviews, and mm -hmm. he, he, you can see in his his body language that mm -hmm. he seems to be at a loss to to find out what's what's happening with England, with the team, why they're not performing like they they have done. Um, it's not just one, two. It's it's a collective unit that's not performing. So okay. Um, so, where does uh, the coach come in then? Do you think it's the blame lies at the store that he's not being able to put things together? Yeah, the coach, it's a, it's a difficult one for the coach because of the experienced unit that England are. The way the, the, the amount of success they've had in white ball cricket, mm -hmm. and then as a new coach coming in, you're, I would imagine, apprehensive to change quite a bit of things. Yeah. You're apprehensive to try and put your stamp if you think something needs changing yeah. because of what's worked so well. You might have changed something which ain't broken. Which is not broken. So, and unfortunately, the thing that's broken, it's broken all in one go. Everything in a short, together. In a short space of time, in a World Cup. That's, um, the, that's the surprising thing. Are you, um, what do you want to see from the England team, from the bowlers at least first? Let's go there. Uh, but, the, the ideal from it now, I think the, the realisation now England are out of the World Cup. England have been out of the World Cup for the last two games. Um, and it's whether they can you know, get a bit of pride back. They've got to then look that 2000, uh, the, the 2025 Champions Trophy means the top eight have to, qual yeah. to qualify. They're so scared of not they have, to, they have to perform to get that. So they, try, they have to try and build a level of consistency to get some confidence back. In the first ten overs, to then tackle the rest of the game from a bowling point of view. But like I said before, the the bowling is one thing. But if you if you're not getting runs on the board, yeah, what then do they defend? Bowling bowling's irrelevant. Mm. 
you know the kind of starts that uh, England used to get from their openers and the top three earlier. That mm. is, they've just not been fighting in the top four. Um, they haven't. No, the, you 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 look at. They were forty six for none, and mm. not the last game, the game before, and mm. then, um, in a soft dismissal, caught behind. Yeah. And then a run out. Led to the fact, led to then having losing a lot of confidence in the second half of the power player, and then all of a sudden England just capitulated. And then against India, I thought I think against India, I'm not saying I'll give them some, you give them some slack, but. I think against England they were bowled out. I thought just Versus India. against yeah. India they were bowled out. I thought okay. Jasper Bumrah and Mohammad Chami bowled England out. I'm going to come to that. Only. Yeah, I I think they bowled England out. I, as much as I think there was some mentally also some poor bowling. shots. I think the pressure, you know, you know, pressure of of the occasion playing against the, the attack that 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 India has. Um, there was a little bit of movement, and I think. Where England were at the time, from a a confidence point of view, um, not in the best place. I thought England were bowled out against India. I thought in, I, I, I give a huge amount of credit to Jasper Bumrah and Mohammad Chami for the way they. I was they just going to come game. to that. Uh, you know, uh, let's talk a little bit about the Australians, the Indians, the the ones who are in the mm. Afghanistan. And Afghanistan they couldn't have make it. Afghanistan have done brilliant. Um, they've found a formula, found a way that if they got runs on the board, they have a bowling attack that can squeeze teams. It's very simple, yeah, that they need runs on the board yeah. and they are looking to do that. And if they get runs on the board, they've got a fantastic bowling attack. They really have. Isn't it Trot who's... Jonathan who's Trot. He's done, He's done a brilliant job. He's done a brilliant job. He's done a brilliant job. Um, but you look at the, uh, the players from Afghanistan and you know, people say, like, talk about dealing with pressure. I think the way the way the Afghanistan players have sort of lived their life growing up and what they've seen sort of personally um, playing cricket must be such a joy for them and I don't think they feel pressure at all because of you know the, the, the this, this what they've, what they've seen in their in their sort of personal lives growing up in in a country which mm, has been been very very difficult mm -hmm. to, to grow up in so to represent Afghanistan and to play for Afghanistan must be an absolute joy. So when it comes to the pressure situation, I think they can fall back on, on their on their upbringing to to, to really feel honoured to play for their country. So barring one place, the fourth place where Australia and uh, two three other teams are in contention, um, how do you look at the last four shaping up? I think South Africa are already there with India, and then it's. It'll be interesting to see how this game goes. If Pakistan can win this game, and then Pakistan beat New Zealand, then all of a sudden, with Pakistan playing England last, you'd feel if they can win that game, win the last three, then they've got 12 points. That should get them into the semi-finals. Do, do you think New Zealand is not as strong as... It started off very well. Started off very well. Um, missing Kane a little bit, and I think Kane will come back in eventually. He'll come back soon. Yeah, yeah he'll come back soon. Um, they've had a couple of injuries bowling-wise. Which have just hampered them a little bit, but I think out of the of the two, I think New Zealand might just pip Australia. But seeing that Australia are firing, they have fired really well in the last few games. But also, also has come back strongly. I just, I just think that as the tournament's going on, the the way they play spin, mm. they might just come unstuck in one of the one of the the, the, yeah. the games further uh, towards the end of the tournament and Pakistan might be able to capitalize on that but at this main time it's New Zealand Australia South Africa and India for the top 4 but I still wouldn't rule Pakistan out I still think they might have an outside chance of of uh, of coming good I think Afghanistan will beat New Z uh, beat the Netherlands but why not Afghanistan Afghanistan has been you know no you can't anymore. But the way they play their cricket they could easily go and they could easily go and lose against the Netherlands I think the utmost high it, it's like anything else when for the last two games but Afghanistan have been playing no fear we are not in the top four we don't look like getting to the top four so we've got nothing to lose all of a sudden they win a couple of games and things change and things change from a from a situation which is it's like anything else you know if you go the hardest the hardest part to qualify is the the very last part and that for me is where 
Afghanistan might get to, you know, the get to the finish line, but getting over it could be the biggest challenge that yeah. they'll find. Um, and I still think the Netherlands game will be a tough game for them because mm. they've got a good side. Both are in contention. Yes. Are you excited about these new teams coming in also? Yeah, yes. brilliant. Yeah. Cricket around the world is cricket around the world is what we want. We want we want all. Are you one of those who wants these? You know, because most of the time, uh, the ones who are in uh, for a long time would rather have status quo. No, I, I think you've got it. The, the, the hard part for the ICC is trying to find a formula to to make sure the the big sides. The international cricket can work with franchise cricket. Big teams should work with. Yeah, uh, the the the. the Franchise cricket needs to work with international cricket mm. and there has to be a place for both because there's financial rewards for players on both sides. Mm. They've got to find a way of making sure that the, the likes of the Netherlands, Ireland, Afghanistan, the West Indies because they haven't qualified, you know, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, yeah. they have enough cricket. See, in India, as you would have seen with the full houses and the following, 50 over cricket is still popular. Mm. It hasn't been played enough like it used to earlier in the last two years, but it's still, despite IPL's popularity. Mm. So, um, are you of the belief that ODI cricket is dying? It's uh, not dead, but it's dying. And I think it's been dying for a while. Um, I think, like I said before, I think if if they said, if the IC said that we, we're not going to play any more 50 over cricket and it's finished, I think some of the big nations will be relieved, will be happy. On the inside, on the outside, they'll be they'll be playing the party line, which would be we're disappointed that the format has has gone. I think the 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 smaller nations need it 